Robert writes, The problem with using or hiring friends is that it will never be limit your power. The friend is rarely the one who is more able to help you, and in the end, skill and competence are far more important than friendly feelings. So if you're going to use a friend in any type of business or any type of formal relationship, then you have to really step back and ask yourself whether this person has these skills and competence to help you. Whether you're just not blindly accepting them just because they're your friend and it's convenient. So maybe asking somebody else, some another trusted, objective third party, whether this is a good idea is a good way to avoid that situation. And bring, to bring it back to enemies, whenever you can bury the hatchet with an enemy, make a point of putting them in your service. And I think that's a really good point. Most people wouldn't even think to approach someone they did not like in order for their own personal power and gain and putting them in your service. Because everybody has skills and a lot of the time your enemies are enemies because they have something of value. Your enemies are your enemies because they are good at something. They have to be good at something. Maybe they're good at pissing you off. Well that comes to some type of skill. And go deeper than that. Okay, what type of values does this person hold? You, know, you can use that to your advantage. You know, Lincoln said you destroy an enemy when you make a friend of him. A lot of people think they don't have enemies, which can be dangerous. You don't know where your enemies are, and you can get attacked very easily without knowing. So never let the presence of enemies upset or distress you. Green writes, you are far better off with a declared opponent or two than not knowing where your real enemies lie. The man of power welcomes conflict, using enemies to enhance his reputation as a sure-footed fighter who can be relied upon in times of uncertainty. 